Our younger generation cannot be forgotten as we move into the post-pandemic world and these projects have given us the opportunity to apply creative thinking to test new solutions which we hope will only lead on to better prospects for all. Thanks very much. I'm uh, Katie Marks, Director of Citizens Design Bureau and I just wanted to say thank you first for the brief um, because combining design so explicitly with strategic thinking around the future models of living and working is basically exactly what we're all about. We need to think about sharing as a means of social connection. Uh, this scheme which we've designed with Mikael Riches for developers town is based upon an innovative uh, rental model. Covid stretch the capacity of all of our homes. We think that inside and outside space that can flex is particularly important for white hat apprentices because they are able to interweave professional and social relationships from such a young age, improving their life chances and their homes should support this. And finally, and as the pandemic has shown, our home is more than where we sleep, eat and relax. Our home is also a productive, dynamic and practical place where we can work, which must be connected globally through high-powered infrastructure. This is not a radical vision, but a necessary one. What we're going to discuss today, our lockdown adventure, to design a product, product AFRO. We are calling this the architecture for the reasonably ordinary. It's well reported that there is a chronic housing issue in this country. We think that we should reframe this crisis as an opportunity and we think the future lies in designing developments that include a diversity of typology as well as tenure.